Hello everyone and welcome back to AmmoMart.com where you can find real firepower online. I'm Rodney Phillips. I'm glad you're joining me today. What I'd like to do is a product evaluation from a company I'm familiar with called Core Essentials. Core Essentials makes a pretty good line of tactical accessories from belts to sunglasses, knives, you name it. But what I'm going to be doing today is evaluating one of their everyday carry belts I'm very excited about. Before we begin though, I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about the importance of a belt period. My good friend Travis, who's the sales manager at Core Essentials, once told me when we met a while ago that your belt should hold your holster the same way that your holster holds your gun. And what he means by that, and what I would certainly like to reaffirm, is that without a belt, your gun is going to move regardless of the position you're carrying it in. For instance, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. And what I have here is a Glock Model 20, action open and no magazine in the weapon at all. So it's about as light as it's going to get. Without a belt, this holster is designed with some cleats on the inside, I'll show you in a minute, to not come out when you're pulling your gun out. It's a catches on the inside of your pants and the end result is eventually you'll get the gun out. So I'm going to pull the gun out slowly so we can kind of focus on the camera here and as I lift you'll notice my pants are coming with and eventually the gun does clear this time. It is possible however that under stress and in the right situation I can pull the gun out and the whole holster will come out with it. That's not a commentary on this Phobos holster, it's more of a commentary on the holster is not secured. Another downside to not using a belt is the firearm has a tendency to move around. You see this slide action here, and I'm going to turn and face the camera more directly, and as you can see, even though the gun has no ammunition in it, this is what happens all day long. That not only could reveal your concealment, but it also has a tendency to snag on things, getting in and out of the car, even walking through a doorway. This is less than ideal. However, this, in my opinion, is just plumb dangerous. And the reason is that I need to know when I have to pull the gun out in an emergency where it is, which is where I've practiced it to be. Your muscle memory will drive your hand, hopefully if you've practiced enough and correctly, to the same spot. This here will give you a false grip and that could result in a catastrophic failure. Nobody wants to be shot while butt flossing themselves with this, okay? End of the day, we need to get this secured no matter what holster we're using. So I'm gonna go grab our everyday carry belt from Core Essentials and we'll take a closer look at it. So here it is. This is called Buffalo leather. It's full grain leather, very sturdy. The belt is made with some fabulous features on there that I think everybody will love. I've worn this belt every day for around three months. And I gotta tell you, it's not only stylish, it's the most utilitarian belt I've ever had. This thing works and it's comfortable. Those two things are essential and they've delivered, but there's more, just like on the commercials. This belt uses a ratcheting system to tighten, and these little teeth in here, I'm gonna step a little closer so maybe you can get a better look, are graduated to quarter inch increments. That means once I lock this guy down, it doesn't move all day. Some belts I've worn, no matter how tight the waist gets, where the firearm rides, it's still loose. It still has a tendency to slide out this direction. Not so much with this belt because the way they've constructed it, there's no way that you can almost roll it in half like you can a nylon style belt. Now, Core Essentials does offer nylon belts. Same way, you can't do that too. It's one of the bigger downsides of wider nylon tactical belts in my opinion. It's also very easy to use once you get it because I'm gonna step a little closer here. You can see right here, you just need to only know your waist size. 
and you can cut the belt accordingly. They go past 45 inches. So you have 28, 29, 30, like that, and 34, and to protect my own dignity, we'll just quit counting. Now, another really cool aspect of this belt are the buckles. This is something called the X6G. This is in gunmetal. They have them in black and in different colors and different styles on the website. But significantly, the way the belt hooks onto the buckle is fabulous. This is a very aggressive teeth behind this lever here. I won't do it so we can continue on with the demo. And it also has two screws that you lightly type into the leather. Won't come off completely secured. Also, I love this guy. This is the clasp that tightens and unleashes your belt. This thing is fabulous because if you wear this the way the manual recommends, this is on the bottom. And that's important for me and I'm sure a lot of other people because if we roll it up, then that little guy is poking into your jelly roll all day. Not comfortable, not ideal. When I used to be in sales, it was the number one reason why people didn't carry a gun every day. It wasn't because they were scared. It was because they couldn't find a comfortable way to do it. And I submit to you, this guy will go a long way towards solving your comfortability problems. Now, I'm going to put this rascal on. And hopefully, yep, good news, we got it past the holster. Once we lock the belt down, you can see how much more difficult it is to actually get that firearm to slide around. So I'm going to go grab the gun and be right back with you. Now, notice, much more difficult. Just that tightening action on the paddle of the holster keeps her way, way, way more secure. And you'll also notice, if I push it out, it'll go out, but it hangs directly in the spot where I expect it to be in an emergency. And it also, turn a little sideways so we can do a like-by-like -like demonstration, once I attempt to pull the gun, I can rip harder and be much more confident that the holster will stay in the appropriate place. I've been around a lot of different belts. I've every day carried for years and years, and my enthusiasm comes and go with it depending on how comfortable I am. If I, get, if I wanna run a new gun and the gun's heavier than the old system I had, it doesn't really accommodate. I personally believe that this can take you through micro all the way up to full-size Glock Model 20, it's comfortable, and it works, and in my opinion, once you get on the website, check it out for yourself, their gear isn't that much more expensive than you would expect to pay for a leather belt at any big box store. Once again, Core Essentials, look up my buddy Travis, you, would, you won't be disappointed, they, they're a company that gets it, can't go wrong. Thank you for your time, we'll see you next time at AmmoMart.com. So, Here's the thing guys, this belt works. Nobody wants to be shot while butt flossing themselves with a jinky system. Jinky system's gotta go and this belt can help make that happen. I'm not being compensated by Core Essentials in any way. I met Travis a few months ago. We've worked together since and at a trade show and the guy just gets it. He understands what the challenges are for everyday carry. I'm merely doing this because I love the system and I think it would help people carry more, more comfortably and more safely. If you like what we're doing, feel free to subscribe and tell your friends about us.